Hey guys, it's Christina Creep and Sarah Stein, and guess what we did? We, we went, went to Monster, Monster Mania. Mania! Yeah! We told y'all we would, so mm -hmm. we didn't get any footage, like I said, we were going to try to, but we were just really enjoying it. Yeah, and it's, I feel like going to Monster Mania is sort of like when you go to a concert. I hate recording stuff. Yeah. I'd rather, the concert's in front of me. I can watch it through my phone, but you know what? You also do that with YouTube. So I like to enjoy it in person, and that's what we motherfucking did. Yeah, we did. Sorry, guys, but we're coming with our haul and, you know, some stories. So so many stories. We're going to start off with, oh my gosh, I put it on Instagram, but my big, like, celebrity, like, uh, freeze up. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Harris. Mm. And not only did we get her autograph, we went to her panel. The one She's thing that hilarious. I really loved is that Adam went in, our friend Adam, I'm Adam. <laughs> he went in and he was like, I liked her before, but I love her now. Mm. And yeah, I loved her before and I just so much more adored her after that panel. Mm. <gasps> so good. Um, it's lovely. Yeah. So let's show our autographs. <laughs> I, I had to go with the bloody one. I was... We both talked about that we wanted her to have one of her from um, Urban Legends. Legend, where she's the goth girl that gets killed. Tosh. Oh, Tosh, but she, they didn't have that. Mm, no. Um, but I did go with Or was it blood. Trish? 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 Or Tosh? Tosh. Shit. She was the goth it's girl. It's up with a T She had a see-through <laughs> skirt and her AS was showing. So yes, that's all was. you need to know. <laughs> but yes, bloody one, two crystals. Though, honestly, if she had had Roseanne pictures, I would have gotten that too, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I feel the same way. Like, she had, mostly mm -hmm. it was the Halloween 4 and 5, and then um, her... There was one that I was debating mm -hmm. where Michael Myers was behind her. We've behind all her, seen that the one. House. Yeah. But I wanted the close-up, the bloody... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had, like, a Halloween one already that I had Scout Taylor Compton sign. So I was like, she's just gonna have to sign this. <laughs> yeah. I like you gotta it. get them all. You gotta. You gotta get them all. We're not Pokemoning. Shut the I fuck was up. Gonna say <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh goodness. She's uh. awesome. I wish I could have spoke more, but I couldn't. I just went up there and I was like, <laughs> I was like, hi. I, <laughs> I think that's exactly what I was like. Hi. I was so pissed because I wanted to mention like Wish Upon a Star to her when I went up to her table, but all I mentioned was Roseanne and Urban Legends, and. I was just so happy someone, like, touched on that at her panel. They are like, what's yes. it like working with Katherine Heigl? She's like, who? Oh, Katie Heigl. <laughs> Same thing with, like, um, Catherine, Catherine Isabel. Isabel. Katie. Katie. Katie Isabel. Katie. Yeah. <laughs> and I loved her whole idea about making a movie, wanting to direct a movie with all the, like, new age scream, scream queens. queens. Please do it. Not do that it. you're watching us, but by chance if you are. Do but it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Go to your next one because I only have one more. Okay. So, this. Uh, I had a hard time trying to pick one. Yeah. So, Dennis O'Hare was there and I got him to sign <laughs> a picture of him as Liz Taylor from American Horror Story Hotel. He was so nice. When I walked up to his table, I was like, You're one of the few actors who I can honestly say has like freaked me out, grossed me out, made me almost cry, and made me laugh. And he was like, Isn't it wonderful? And I'm like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. He was very sweet. I don't think I posted a picture of him on Instagram, but I have ones with like him and Adam and James. Do we this? Yeah. I can't look for it. We have an Eric with us. The one that matters. We have a, we have a big Eric with us. Yes. Sorry. So if I look over that way, it's because I'm just kind of seeing what he's up to. Go, go for another one because I only have one more. So. Right. And my last one is like a really long story. Yeah. So. Christy Swanson was there, and I got her to sign something to me and my husband um, from The Chase. And so, fun story, when James and I first started dating, once a week we would have a movie night, and within the first month he was like, have you ever seen this movie called The Chase? And I was like, what the hell is that? So this was like one of our like first date night movies. And I was like, she has to freaking sign this! That's so cute. I yeah. know that. Yeah. I should know that. Why would you know that? Were you a fly on the wall? No, because the first time y'all, like, kissed, you, like, came running up barefoot into my apartment. And peed. Yes. <laughs> in the toilet, not on my couch. Little does she know. <laughs> so, I feel like I should know that because I was there from mm. the beginning. But anyway, so the next one for me, the last one for me, this is something. So, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Monster Rainy was actually for my husband and I to celebrate our seventh Wedding anniversary. What's happening? Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you, big Eric. <laughs> of the Eric's. <laughs> I feel like there's an instruction necessary there. Um, so we were celebrating our seventh wedding anniversary, like I said, and if you've ever been to our house, which you have not, but if you knew us at all, over our TV is this huge Pantera poster that has been in his room since we were dating. <laughs> I mean, Chris on a fucking cracker, what was that 14 years ago? Mm-hmm. 14 years ago it was there, um, and it was there long before I got there, trust me. My <laughs> husband actually met <laughs> all of Pantera 24 years ago, 24 years ago. And when I saw that Phil was going to be there, it's like his favorite band ever, besides Snapcase, I was like, "Hun, we're going, we're going. This is like perfect. Mm -hmm. Horror convention with Phil, like, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, we're going. So he was super excited for this, and I was too, because I've never met him, and I love Pantera, not as much as he does, but... <sighs> Don't ask me to say the last name, we've been over this, it's Phil on... <laughs> on Psalm... Psalm... I know his name, but I cannot... You know what I mean? I can't say it. I just can't fucking say it. Ensemble. Ensemble. You know what? Ensemble. Ensemble. <laughs> why? I don't know why, but okay, so this is what we got. This is what we got. Oh! This is so badass. This is so badass. And I think my favorite part of meeting him is the fact that, like, I, I'm gonna say it. We walked up. He's crazy. He's crazy. We walk up, and he looks up at me, and all he says is, you are fucking beautiful. <laughs> it's like, brutal voice. <laughs> and then, like, we had our friend Gary with us, and he was gonna take the picture. He was not part of this at all. But he used to stand there waiting to take the picture as Phil goes on air guitars for a while, but then agnostic front comes on the, oh, the radio behind him and he starts singing and serenading our friend Gary <laughs> don't know why so we go to take our picture and he insists that Gary not take the picture but get in on it with us which is fine we love Gary but <laughs> <laughs> so we end up having our picture with Gary and I'm right next to him Gary is you know one side and my husband's on next to me and Phil's like reaching over like if my hand is like this Phil's hands over it and he starts caressing it. <laughs> caressing it, he's like, oh, Chris, don't mind. <laughs> and this is on Chris's shoulder. And Chris is like, I'm good. And then he starts rubbing Chris's ear. And Chris is like, as long as you don't, what will he mean? He's like, I'm going to do that bro shit. <laughs> it, was, it was just an experience. Phil was a oh. fucking riot. He was a fucking riot to me. He's crazy. I think he told us all about Star Trek. Some <laughs> Star Trek episode with aliens that were beamed up. I, I don't even, it was a trip. It was good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. At least he thinks I'm fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh, Jesus I can't, Christ. I can't. Go. Because this is your funny story. Oh, this is ridiculous. So, out of all the people, you know, who are at Monster Mania, Robert England, Shannon Elizabeth, Daniel Harris, who is my husband most excited to see for? William Cat. But not because he was Carrie's prom date, no. Not because he was in house. Not because of, like, the Great American Hero Show, no. Because... He was in Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. <laughs> he made me dig out this old ass freaking DVD the night before. And he was like, I'm going to make him sign it. He was like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see William Cat. I'm going to make him sign this. You think anyone else has it? And I'm like, no, no one is going to have this because it's a horror convention. Most of these people aren't going to know what this is. So... The day of, he's like freaking, he's like, we're going to see William Cat. We're going to see William Cat. Oh, God, what do I wear? And so I'm like picking out his clothes, and he's like, should I wear flip-flops with this? And I'm like, no, it's raining. Don't do this. James. Wear, wear your <laughs> shoes. And he's like, I can't wear sneakers. You don't wear sneakers to see William Cat. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, why is this a thing? I'm like, I'm going to tell him you were such a fucking pansy. We're getting ready to meet him. <laughs> so we walk up, and William Cat is like, they usually come around the table, and they'll shake your hand and introduce themselves, and they'll want to know what your name is. And... He comes over and he's like, oh, you get a hug. So he gives me a hug and then he like looks over and I'm like, so this is my husband, James. He shakes his hand. I'm like, and this is my son, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm and, Adam. Yes. <laughs> we have the best picture too because Adam's looking at us all creepy like in the corner. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, so I was like, so just so you know, and I told him the story about James having me dig out this movie and he goes, baby. <laughs> he's like, where did you find, what? Where did you find this? And he was super excited. He's like telling us all these stories, how it was filmed in the Amazon, how half the cast got malaria, like all this crazy stories. So he takes it out. 
Thank you. Because I just like, like nasty laugh You bitch. You nasty witch. <laughs> <laughs> So he like takes it out and signs it and then all of a sudden he stops and he starts shuffling around all the pictures of like house and like carry on the table and he pulls out the only picture from baby he had and he goes, you guys get this too, no charge. So he signed like another picture for us. It was hilarious. Like, and he wrote James, amazing what you find in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> So we took, like, we ended up taking a picture with him, and he was like, yeah, it was nice meeting you, James. Hi, bye, Adam. And then he was like, she gets another hug, though. And I'm like, I thought we could have taken him home. He looked like he wanted to join us for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but we could have, like, taken him and Phil home all together to have, like, a big dinner party. How yeah. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that would have been wonderful and horrible and scary and what nightmares are made of. <sighs> It makes it sound like we weren't there. To, we were there together, but while we were in line for Phil, they were in line for William Cat had the longest line which uh, was, next to Robert England, which was the craziest it was crazy. thing. You had like Chris Sarandon from Fright Night with other, two other Fright Night people that were there. Like you had the dad from Home Alone that no one went over to. <laughs> we had Macaulay Culkin. I was like Macaulay right Culkin, go next to your dad. Go go go! I was trying to get Chris to take a picture with he him. Keeps, my husband, especially when his hair is down. Look like Macaulay modern Col day. Modern. Macaulay. He does. Oh, I mean, okay. I get that Macaulay <laughs> Culkin like is all like crazy with pizza. Wait, hold on. Who are we talking about? No, <laughs> but pizza. My husband's crazy with pizza. He looks like strung on heroin. My husband does zero drugs. He's like the most anti drug person ever. But he looks like strung out Macaulay Culkin. Why? I don't know. I just. He looks like strung out Macaulay Culkin that like had caffeine. Yeah. And ate a little bit more. Yeah. There's some, there's some, you know, cheekage. Yeah. But yeah, so we kept joking with it. <laughs> Wait, what was it? We're, oh, God. Was it Adam or, or, or Gary? Or, no, it had to been Adam that was like, like, oh, something about Macaulay Culkin. He's like, I'm not Macaulay Culkin. And I was like, that's just what Macaulay Culkin would, would say. say. <laughs> oh, it must have been Gary. What was really funny is so when she was, when they were in line to go see Phil, I was like, at least like ten people in the next line over. Yeah, we were I was far lines. back and I was like, it's Macaulay Culkin. And these people next to us turned around like, what? And I'm like, I'm gonna do that in every room we go I to told now. Him, I was like, milk it, just milk it. Like he's like, but I'm not Macaulay Culkin. That's exactly what Macaulay Culkin, Culkin would, would say. say. <laughs> I was like, you need some pizza. He's like, I really do. Rick Flair had pizza. <gasps> oh, mm. yes, Rick Flair was there. And my mm. husband wanted to meet him so bad, but we did that like I saw him Big Eric that like shuffle dance. Remember, like we kind of try to see how much something costs, but you have to like kind of like I'm not really over here to see you. I'm just like do my turn, because <laughs> you don't want to like go up, look, and be like Ugh, and walk mm -hmm. away. So like, and he mm -hmm. comes back and goes Ugh, fifty dollars. I was like at a um, horror convention. Yeah. Are you worth it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at a horror convention. Mm -hmm. No, you're not worth it there because <laughs> everyone else was charging so much. Man, prices have. On up, up. They up definitely for signatures, have. and now I remember when they didn't charge for pictures. Pictures were free. Yep. Not anymore, unless you're Daniel Harris. 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 I was about to burp again. Beer. Harris, who just you know does it all in one take. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for her picture if you did not. She was sweet. My she husband is gorgeous. That ring. Oh. That ring. I was She's so talking distracted. jewelry. I'm talking muscles. Where are our priorities? Should we do art? Yes, let's go. Get your picture. All right, so on to our merch that we got. The first thing I got was actually, it's funny because we were leaving the celebrity room and we had our autographs with us and we're so excited. We're like, let's take them to the car. And this guy from a table who was doing art, we didn't pay too much attention. We were just like trying to get out the door to get to our car. He was like, hey, I got some for you guys. And I was waiting for it to be one of those things like, mm -hmm. look at this print. No, he pulls out like one of those like, you know, sleeve holder things. Mm -hmm. He's like, I have this if you want that for your pictures. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> so <laughs> I stopped and looked at his pictures and I was very distracted by the cutest bat. And I wish I had his name. I have his business card. So the link is going to have to go down below later because I have the autograph on the back. However, I cannot make out. I can't remember. He did chalk art. It was like all chalk. Mm -hmm. He had such amazing things, like his like non-print stuff it was all black light reactive. It was so cool. So he had a deal, and I decided to get three of them for Lydia's room to go into like a frame where I can get like you know three five by sevens going mm -hmm. across. There's a witchy and my favorite one. Oh, it's like a pumpkin 
teddy bear vampire. Mm -hmm. So cute. So I got those for the kids. I was really excited about mm -hmm. that. I mean, they're for Lydia, but I figure mm -hmm. they'll both enjoy it. Very nice. And Very nice. I got something else for Scott, too, which we'll get to. <laughs> Go to yours. All right. So there is a guy who has this company called Popsic Art, and I'll most likely take a picture and tag him on Instagram, but he vends at every Monster Mania, and I met him... Mm -hmm. um, online I guess you could yeah because I did an interview with him for when I was blogging forever and a year ago and now every time he's at Monster Mania I go and I buy one of his 3D like pop art type things so this time I got the handbook for the recently deceased I'm trying to like get like a good view but you can see where there's like multiple layers of the print so it does kind of stand out He's got all sorts of stuff. I have like a Rosemary's Baby one, and I also have a Camp Crystal Lake sign. I absolutely adore these. And he even does like larger ones. He does deals all the time. But yeah, Popsicle Art. Do it. Check him out. Find him on Instagram. He vends all the time. Yeah. I see him every time. I love his stuff. I do. Mm -hmm. So much cool stuff. Um, I guess I'll go this next. My toy. So, no, I went in and I told my husband, because, again, we were celebrating our anniversary, so we went in with a specific amount of money that we were going to spend on each other, and that was our presents to each other. He actually went home with two tomahawks, <laughs> remember that? Which I don't have to show you guys. Oh, my dog's behind us. Um, I don't, she's out back. <laughs> uh, because they're in the garage right now. He wanted hatchets and, well, whatever, he got tomahawks. Um, same difference. So I said no toys. No toys, that I didn't want toys, I was going to go for movies, art, autographs, that was it. Well, my friend Graham happened to be there, who <gasps> had a table in the back, and I'm so excited that I found him because he had the Diamond Select Mad Monster Party figure, only this one a thing, <laughs> and thing is, when these came out, I passed them up and I, it was... Like, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. And then later happened, and they were, like, $100 each on eBay. Mm -mm. Fuck that. I, I'm so mad because there's only three of them. The Baron, him, and um, the Count. The Baron, Fang, and the Count. So I don't sound crazy. Anyway, so <laughs> they're super expensive on eBay now and Amazon, and I was pissed off and I missed them, but I saw this sitting on his table as I'm talking to him about this and the other. And I was like, so how much for Fang? He was like, eh, 20 bucks. I was like, What? <laughs> And then we're talking more. He's like, actually, he's like, for you, 15 bucks. I was like, you didn't have to do that because I was going to buy it anyway. <laughs> like, but for 15 bucks, yes, sir. Plus, we got a great little present for Big Eric over there from his table as well. I said no toys, but I had. Wait, here, come here. You want to pop your head in and show? Come on, pop your head in. Come in. We have Big Eric right here. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the he porno punches. pins. He punches. And we got him porno pins. Oh yeah, porno pins. You earned it. Oh wait, we can't show them. Either. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just buttons. Buttons. Boobs. A uh, goldfish coming out of a butt mm -hmm. and uh, a vagina. A dyslexic... What do you mean a goldfish? Like the cracker or a real fish? I'm not really yeah, sure what's going on. Look yeah, look in the light. We couldn't tell. It might be a penis. I'm not sure. Um, but there was definitely a dyslexic vagina. Aww. You know that story. Yes. <laughs> so. The flex six vaginas oh. and burglar alarms. Burglar. Oh, we'll go to mine. Oh, oh yeah, that's story because then we just have movies. So, the next thing I got was from Ginger Voodoo. Oh my gosh. So, I was actually looking, before I get into this, I was looking at a table next to this table and my husband was distracted. I, I'm never concerned with that. We all do our own thing. Actually, <laughs> we were all together at the con and we all just kept going off on our own because mm -hmm. that's what we do. And next time he's like, hun, come look at this. There's like body butter and, and tattoo creams. And I was like, you want me to actually spend money here? Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, don't twist my arm. Um, and the cutest little girl dressed as Chucky and her mom was dressed as Tiffany. It was mm -hmm. just really cute. But this girl's energy, I got it right away. This is going to be my daughter when she's 11. <laughs> this is going to be my daughter when she's 11 years old because the girl's 11. I... I Saw their Instagram. I'm not that creepy. But I saw the Instagram. There was like a lemon birthday party thing. Um, <laughs> I'll get into that because I'm not that creepy. <laughs> I'm not that creepy. Um, so I was like, wow, this really is like our daughter. What a great sales girl. Like, ooh, ah, wow. Um, but so they were selling this stuff, and oh my god, I've been using this. 
nonstop. It is a now that, check that consistency, girl. Check that out. That's nice. It is nice. It's all organic and it's all natural. And the one thing that this 11 year old girl was selling me, she's like, we don't use fragrance. We use, you know, all natural oils. No. Or I was like, whoa, girl, you know what you're talking about. So I was definitely sold a mint. I sold a pumpkin one. And it is so good. I use it all the time. One thing I do like about it is because it's a pumpkin fragrance, it does not stay forever. So I can use my regular perfume. Like mm -hmm. when you put it on, you smell it hardcore. Mm -hmm. Maybe after like an hour or two, it kind of fades out. Mm -hmm. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine by me because I can have my perfumes on and everything else. Sometimes you don't always want like a lotion that will overpower what you're doing all the mm -hmm. time. But it's so moisturizing and so good. So anyway, back to where I'm not creepy. They um, they were following me. I found out they were following me on Instagram already when I went to go follow them after the con. And then next thing I know, I got a direct message from the mother saying, and I think it's her, the mother and the daughter must share this one account, I mm -hmm. guess, because it's their little business together, which is so cute. Um, asking if I wanted to do a review on them. And I was like, uh, heck yeah, I do. I can already review right off of this. But of course, like the more mm -hmm. the merrier, I will review this all. I definitely think y'all should check them out, but I went back and I saw their pictures and they had the cutest pictures. Like they're always doing little human centipedes type stuff with like little <laughs> babies and things and the dogs. I don't even know, <laughs> but I saw one for her 11th birthday. That's why I know I'm not, <laughs> but yeah, um, love this. That was a really long explanation for body butter, 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 but yes, I do. I do love this and I told her even in the DM I was like I, I re reapplied a couple times a day just to get that smell of the because mm -hmm. it smells like pumpkin pie like or like he said pumpkin and a uh, molasses mm -hmm. or like it smells so good <sighs> big Eric has to check, try it too get up in it yo and they actually had like a tattoo thing that that <laughs> I was standing talking to the table and like she took a stick and put a tat like the tattoo thing on me my husband did because mm. She handed it to him, and somehow the sample ended up on me when I wasn't paying attention. But it's supposed to bring out, like, the colors and things, and it's all natural. I, I know. Oh. You're like, hmm. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm standing here talking to someone else, and I'm saying, I know my husband has, like, a little match stick, and he's, like, rubbing something on me. And I was like, what are you doing over there? He's like, get over here. And I was like, <laughs> you want me to buy this? Um, mm -mm -mm. That looked amazing, too, and I wanted it, but I had to go with this because pumpkin. pumpkin. But I am curious about that tattoo. Goo stuff Tattoo goo. Tattoo goo. I can't remember the name of it, but... Movies. 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 <laughs> I think I went on forever about that. So many movies. I was super amused by them because it was a daughter and mom team. and I love that. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> what did what? you do? What did I... I did a lot. <laughs> <gasps> valley girl i saw that too oh valet wait no valet girl valet okay i'll just show it so i <laughs> saw this it's not a horror movie it was an 80s movie called valet girls and they're girls that literally what they do they park cars at a rich person's party whenever they have it and he happens to be a music exec and guess what they want to be singers <laughs> so that's kind of what happens i remember seeing it on I want to say Netflix forever ago, and then it vanished. And I don't know. I just, I watched it, I fell in love, and then I was sad when it was gone. But this made me very happy. I saw that, too, because I did the same thing at the convention. I was like, that Valley Girls with Nicholas Cage? I'm like, no, Valley. No. I just did it again. No, I, I haven't seen this anywhere. Like, Fear. I even tried to find it if I could buy it online, and all I saw was, like, VHS that were really, like, steeply priced. That's what I love about these <laughs> conventions, though. That's why I went in, like, we'll get movies. Mm -hmm. Just go through yours, and then we'll go through mine. Cause... Okay. <gasps> you got pop... I got what? I got popcorn. Yes! <gasps> popcorn! I ha You saw <laughs> I have it, dude. Buy a bag, go home with a pop. I'm playing that movie. <laughs> oh, God. Had to. Blood and donuts. Somebody had blood and motherfucking oh, yeah. donuts, and now and I can time... stop watching it on YouTube. You By the time that. we got there, like they, did, I couldn't find it. Remember? I mean, but I mean, I still watch it. Are you it's okay? It's so good. I love the. There's a place between the living and the dead, and it's open 24 hours. <laughs> Ew, that's true. 
Alright, they had Paper House, which I was excited. I haven't seen this in a fucking, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I was just super, super, super excited. That's probably something that I feel like is one of those weird underrated movies, and we'll probably have to, like, talk about it another time. So I'll have to borrow it. Yeah. And, and then... I have something you might have to borrow, too, though. Oh, fuck. And then, you know, I got, like, the Gremlins knockoff. I got Elf. Because everyone is a good <laughs> holiday movie. I love a good <laughs> holiday horror movie. I was so excited. Whew. All right. That was my movie haul. Okay, so let me do... <gasps> oh, you know what? I didn't even... What? I'll do it last. Okay. I have, I have one more thing I keep forgetting about. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one thing I had to get was, this is from one table, um, they had the Haunted Mansion story, and I have no fucking idea what this was, and then I didn't have phone juice to look it up, so I just, <laughs> I just went for it because it was a two-disc thing, and, you know, these places, the prices were so good. And then I looked it up, and it's, like, non-existent. There was, like, a... I don't know if it was a DVD or a VHS set at some point, but I could not find it anywhere. So mm. I'm excited to watch this. I love the Haunted Mansion. This is actually for Scarlet. So the pictures were more for Liddy, but this was for Scarlet. Tales from the Crypt. Um, I'm sorry, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. The animated series. I don't know if y'all remember this, mm -hmm. but this is season one and two. Ah! And Scarlet has been begging me to buy this on Amazon, um, Amazon TV, where it's like 30 bucks a season. And I was like, ugh girl no I'm like that's a lot so she's seen the first episode because it was free and she's like addicted she's like I want to watch it again I got this <laughs> yes. yeah mm. season one and two got it for her mm. and spookies this was an Adam recommendation oh. Adam was like I remember this movie that was so good blah blah and I was like well five buck tape five dollars mm -hmm. that DVD table I was like sure I'll try it I have no idea what it is it sounds kind of familiar but spookies going for it all right, this was my uh, valet girl for you, Necronomicon. I don't know. This was an anthology. I was telling them both earlier, like, I rented this from Blockbuster <laughs> on VHS when I was, like, 11 years old and sat in front of, like, the wooden TV on the floor, cross-legged, like, yes, <laughs> yes, like, watching it. And I rented it over and over and over again. I love this movie. I remember parts of it so vividly, but I cannot wait to rewatch it because I was pretty sure I would never see it again because I can never find a damn thing about it. Um, next is Rest in Pieces. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt like there was a reason why I need to have it. I saw the name and I'm like, I know this name. I know this name. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't put it two, two together, but I felt like I'm like, I know I've looked for this, like, you know, to see if it was on Roku, but it wasn't, you know, it was something I couldn't find. Mm -hmm. So I figured for $5, I'm going to figure out why I had to watch this at some point in my life. Have you seen it? I don't remember. Yeah, like, Maybe I just, not. I know that I've looked for it on Roku, but I couldn't find it. So for some reason, I'd see it. Right. Gonna watch it. Mm. Which board to? Oh, come on. Of course I did. Of course I did. Five. Oh, no, I think it was just $10. Whatever. This is a $10 one. Mm. Don't matter. Had to have it. So I don't have it. And this was Sarah's recommendation. <laughs> Little Witches. I love this movie. I know. I have not actually seen this. I have not. Mm. No, no, no. I think. Remember we were talking about it. Like I think mm -hmm. it was on Netflix for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. And I might have, might have seen it. But that would have been so many years ago. I can't remember. We watch a lot of movies. There's and... like a couple people in there that you'll recognize right off the bat. Like there's at least three. Um... Yeah, you can't tell because... Mm -mm. That's so, like, bad quality picture. So, yeah, but I am excited to watch this because... I love this movie. If Sarah said it's good, it's going to be good. That was another one that, like, I used to run from Blockbuster over yeah. and over and over again. And you told me you already had it. Like, you had found it, like, a couple years before mm -hmm. on DVD and snagged it real quick. So I was like, well, mm -hmm. again, if she said it was good, I believe it. If Adam said Spookies was good, I believe it. I'm going to do it. Got him. Doing it. Okay. <laughs> so lots of movies for me. Lots of movies. I could have bought so many more though. I'm sure you feel the same. There were so many. Yeah. And then I had one more thing I kept forgetting I had. Um <gasps> so Sour Puss yes. Clothing had a table. I forgot mine too. You I forgot heard... your socks. My socks. I got the trick-or-treat socks, but they're yeah. in the wash because I already wore them. <laughs> of course I did. So I got one of their purses, a spider webs, of course. I love it. I needed a new bag. It's funny because I saw that on their table when I bought the socks, mm -hmm. and I was kind of like, I like that. Thank you. I just got served beer. 
Good sir. But this amazing best friend. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Unicorn power. Oh. We have unicorn power. Show it. Show it. I am rainbows and beer. Rainbows <laughs> and beer. Oh Jesus. So. Mm. Yeah. That was and I again I got the socks from Sourpuss. I was kind of surprised by how little they had because I remember them at Horrifying. Remember that first mm -hmm. year when we saw them at Horrifying? Mm -hmm. Like, not our first year going, but yeah. the first year we saw them. And they had, like, two tables worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. Crazy, because I bought Scarlet's very first onesie from them. The <laughs> one. So I was really surprised they only had that small rack mm. of clothes and, like, a couple pillows and patches. I mean, everyone knows Sourpuss at this point. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're fairly local to us because they're just... New Jersey, state. right? I thought it was, I guess New Jersey or Pennsylvania. Some, for some reason, I thought it was like Philly area. Like I'm, Is I'm, it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I just remember it's like east. Yeah. I mean, it's close enough to us, so it's local. Yeah. But I think it was a really good convention. I had a lot of fun. It was good. I think the panel was my favorite part, though. I'll have to, you know, my mom says if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. So I'll save a story for you when this is off. Because you remember what I did after the Danielle Harris panel. Oh. I stayed. Yeah, you did. Mm. I remember because I was going to stay and then I didn't. Oh, it was hilarious. You should have stayed. But it was bad. That's what we can't say. I'm not going to say it. Well, the oh, Daniel Harris panel was really good. That was really fun. Oh, she cusses like a sailor. It was I beautiful. Know. I love when she was like, walk us through my day. You wish, or like, good luck, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was As, hilarious. They're like, would you like to work with someone like Edward Orange? She goes, yeah, but it seems like a lot of work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I loved her so much in that. And it was really bad because I didn't have my glasses. Mm. So I was doing this whole time. What was really, really kind of <laughs> my favorite story that she told, and she had so many good ones, is someone was like, who's like celebrity that you love and someone you don't like? And she goes, I don't like Bruce Willis. I, I told him the story. I was telling Big Eric the story earlier. Yeah, and they were like, well, why? And she was like, I think it's because he kept fucking mm -hmm. with me on set for the movie that they did with like, it was on, like Eddie Murphy, I guess. Mm -hmm. And she said that at the time, um, she hadn't seen hmm. Damon Williams. That's right. Why was I thinking Eddie? Anyways, they were. Um, I agreed. <laughs> she was like 14 years old and she's like I don't know if he was like in character or if yeah, he was he, just being a she dick. was supposed to be like the bratty character so like she was like maybe he was trying to keep me in character yeah like... and he asked her like okay because I had die hard had already come out and he was like so what's your favorite movie of <laughs> mine and she was like moonlighting and he's like you're an asshole yeah, <laughs> like, but she was like that was my thing she's like I hadn't seen die hard I'd seen that one a zillion times so that was my favorite movie and she's like <sighs> She was a lot of fun. I mean, everything, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I wish I'd filmed it in so many ways, <laughs> but also then, would y'all really want to see it on, like, crappy quality mm -mm. phone where I'd be too shy to put it?